Hi, this is Dr. Fass here. In this video, I will show you this pretty cool 8-inch tablet PC. What's neat about it is that it's pre-installed with both Android and Windows 10 operating system. This one I have here is made by a company called Onda, and the model number is V80+. It retails for $98, and I got this from GearBest.com. I'll include the link in the description so you can check it out. Let's open this up and I'll show you what this tablet looks like. Here we have a micro USB cable. Here we have a user guide in Chinese. Here is a quick start guide in English. Let's go over some of the spec on this unit. It has an 8 inch IPS LCD touch screen with 1920 by 1200 resolution. It uses an Intel Cherry Trail Z830064 bit quad core 1.44 gig processor. It comes with 2 gig of DDR3 RAM and 32 gig of eMMC ROM for storage. You can also expand the storage up to 128 gig by installing a micro SD card. Inside the unit you'll find a rechargeable lithium ion battery rated at 3.8 volt at 4200 milliamp hour. The unit comes pre-installed with Android 5.1 Lollipop and also Microsoft Windows 10 64-bit OS. The device has Bluetooth, G sensor and Wi-Fi 802.11 BGNN. Let's take a closer look at the unit. On the front, we have a 2 megapixel camera. On the side, we have the USB connector, HDMI connector, headphone jack. On the top, we have the power button and the volume rocker. On the back, this is also a 2 megapixel camera. Here we have the speaker and the micro SD slot. On the front, you'll notice the bezel is white. And on the back, it's a gold color. With this tablet, they already installed the screen protector. So you can go ahead and remove this plastic cover. And underneath is the screen protector. Let's power on the tablet. So this is Android. Now this screen you're looking at is a custom launcher made by Onda. It's a little different than the regular Google Now launcher. For one thing, it's missing the app shortcut here. Also, they have created a bunch of app folders that's written in Chinese. Now if you want to install the regular Google Now launcher, you can go to your Play Store and you can search for Google Now. I've gone ahead and installed this already. Here's the Google Now launcher. Select that and I'll switch over to the regular launcher that you're probably more used to. So here we have the app shortcut. And this is the Honda launcher that I was talking about. If you want to go back to that one, you can just select that and it will switch back. Let's go ahead and add the settings shortcut. If we select the About tablet, you'll see this Android is 5.1. Let's open up YouTube. Here's a video from Scotty Humor. In many ways, farming contributes to greenhouse gases. For instance, tractors use fuel. Yeah. If you want to switch over to the Windows 10 operating system, what you want to do 
is swipe this down and there is an icon here called OS switch select that now the tablet is shutting down and rebooting into Windows 10 now I've already booted into Windows 10 once already so I've gone through the initial setup setting up your name, password, stuff like that if you're a Windows user this should look very familiar because this is running Windows 10 Home Edition here we have the start button next to it is Cortana you can ask anything over here we have Internet Explorer next to it is Windows Explorer here we have the Wi-Fi connection and the volume adjust let's first go to settings system about here you see it's Windows 10 Home Edition with 2 gig of RAM the processor is the Intel Atom Z8300 1.44 gig system type is 64 bit let's open up the Windows Explorer if we select this PC you can see we have 19 gig of storage you can also install different browsers right now I'm going to open up the Internet Explorer but you can install Chrome if you want or Mozilla Firefox I'm not noticing any lag when I'm using my finger to scroll through this if you want to type in something you'll need to open up the keyboard which is this icon at the bottom right hand corner here you can enter say a URL and go to YouTube Now if you want to switch back to the Android operating system, there's a shortcut here called Dual OS Switch. You want to open this up. Going to switch to Android. Okay. So right now it's shutting down Windows 10 and they'll reboot the system and go into Android let's try playing a game here, this is the perfect shift racing game I've gone ahead and customized it a little bit, change the wallpaper, add a couple of apps I like on the home page. Now there's one additional feature I found when I was using this tablet. If you look on the right side here, there's a Windows logo. This is actually a capacitive button you can press. What I mean is that if I open up the YouTube right here, and I press the Windows logo right here, it'll go back to the home screen. 
or let's say if I open up the Play Store, same thing. Now with this feature, I think it's okay if you use a tablet in a portrait mode, then you have the home screen button at the bottom. However, if you're going to use this in a landscape mode, a lot of times your hand can accidentally touch this and exit your app. So just keep that in mind when you're using this tablet. So overall, I think this Onda V80 tablet PC performs pretty well. It's really nice to see a tablet with both Android and Windows 10 operating system. By having both operating system in one unit, now you have the option of switching between one and the other. Because sometimes when you're using the browser on the Android platform, it doesn't render the mobile site properly. So you often have to switch over to a desktop version. And even then, it can cause problems when you're trying to do shopping online or view the page properly. With this, you can go to your Windows operating system, do whatever you need to, and then switch back to the Android and play your games. So it's very flexible. I hope you enjoy watching this review of the Onda V80 tablet PC. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.